I was introduced to painting in my teens when uh, my folks sent me to a friend who was a painter and recently widowed and had opened her studio. I think she must have been a good teacher in that I felt very comfortable with oils um, as a result of that ancient exposure that I had. Um, and I didn't really paint for half a century after, more than half a century after. So fast forward to a Thanksgiving, I've got six grandchildren and they all look to me worthy of being captured while they're still kids. And I just started cold painting the eldest grandson. Um, the painterly quality may have been lacking something, but my daughter thought I'd captured something of her son and she liked it. So with that encouragement, I kept going. And by the time I got to the sixth grandchild, with the encouragement and merciless critique of my children, uh, I was improving. I didn't go to art school. I don't know rules of thumb for proceeding. I'm usually just feeling my way every time I do it. These are both paintings in progress. Uh, this I did at the morning portrait studio from a nice gentleman with a wonderful beard. And this I started um, of a neighbor's child uh, for her birthday. Um, but I'll show you how I tend to just start. With respect to the portraiture, I think there's a funny thing that can happen when I am trying for an individual likeness. And I said, I just bumble around feeling my way as I go. But if it evolves to a point where, and there's sometimes this wonderful point, where it looks like the subject of the portrait is looking back at me from the canvas, that's a nice moment. And the painting itself may require adjustment and development and so on, but when I'm somehow getting into a conversation with my subject at the canvas. That's very nice. So, What I'm inspired by in portraiture is sort of the endless interest you find in other human beings. And there I'm really mining information to, if what I'm after is a likeness and a sense of the individual presence of that person that's an exquisitely detailed, subtle technique to develop. And so instead of really simplifying for the sake of composition and, and the overall artwork, I'm, I'm after... And I could you'd just be struck by the beauty of a person and want to try to render an artful pose and representation of that person. But, it, and, but when I'm trying to actually do a portrait of an individual, that's, that's a very demanding uh, discipline, actually. I don't know why. I mean, I know why I got started. I wanted to capture my grandchildren. But why I've stayed with it, I don't know. So <laughs> uh, it must be interesting to me, I guess. <laughs>